Hey everyone, I'm Shadow DTV, and today I'm going to be showing you how to edit my free overlay pack for OBS. So we're going to go through how to edit these with free software, so you'll be able to change the colors, change the text, change the backgrounds, and customize this overlay pack for your stream. Now I've already been through how to load all of these overlays into uh, OBS Studio, so the link for that video will be down in the description. It's part of my complete OBS master course on how to set up OBS Studio for streaming. This overlay pack has been made by me and is being given to you guys for free. So head down to the description and you'll be able to download this overlay pack and follow along with me. Today we're going to be using the website Photopia. This is a free Photoshop editing software. You will not need Photoshop to edit these Photoshop files that are included in the overlay. So we're going to head to photopia.com. So that's p-h-o-t-o-p-e-a.com. And you'll be greeted with this here. So we're going to go to file and we're going to open. You now need to go to your overlay pack and you'll have the PSD files folder. This is where all the Photoshop files are that you uh, can edit. So we're going to edit the intermission file first. As you can see, we've opened that up. Um, you can edit this text here. So if you wanted this to say just chatting, so you want to click this little T here. We can highlight that and we can change that to just chatting. So you can customize this however you want, um, and then we can move that around. So you click this little uh, cursor here, you can move this wherever we want. Perfect. Um, as you'll see, we've got some folders here. This is where all your layers are. So we've got the background here. This little eye will turn things on and off. These are the boxes. So you can turn them off. You can turn off the text. So you can, you can fully customize this to your liking. Um, if you would like to change the color of these bars, click on color bars here. We want to go to image, adjustments, Hue saturation. Now with these sliders you can completely customize this. So with the hue we can change the color. So there we have blue and red. The saturation we can choose how much of the gray there is. If we go all the way you can see it's a, a line straight through the middle. So you can adjust this how you like. If you want less color you can do less color like that. And the lightness you can uh, lighten the colors almost to white or you can darken them almost all the way to black. There you go. So you can customize this however you like. So I'm going to set this to like that. So now we've got blue and red. Perfect. That looks great. Um, you can also go into here where it says Twitter and we can adjust the text here. So you want to hit the little T again, click on the text and we can edit this to say whatever we like. So at hello, there we go. And you can again move this around, click the little cursor and we can move this around however we like. You'd like to change the color of these logos. So we've got Twitter here. If you right click this little gradient tool and change to the paint bucket tool, you can just click on it and there we have it, it's red. If you wanna change the YouTube logo, you need to go over here to YouTube, click on YouTube layer and click on there. And there we have it. If we wanna change the color of text, so we just click the T, click on the text, we're gonna highlight the text. We're gonna click this little box up here and choose a color. There we go, and now that's red. You can fully customize this however you like. You can even change the background here. If we open up our overlay pack, I've got another image here. We can just drag this image straight in. We want to move the layer all the way to the bottom. We'll turn off this one. And then we have it. You've got a new background. So you can load any image in here that you want. Now to save this, we go back to File. We go. Uh, we don't want to save it as a Photoshop file anymore. Um, you can save it as a Photoshop file to have a backup that you can continue to edit, but we want to export as PNG. So PNG, we click save, there we have it, and so mine's already opened up, yours will save to your download folder. Now if we wanted to edit the panels or the alerts, we can do that as well. We'll go open, we'll open the alerts folder. So if we wanted to edit this again, we'll click on layer 6, we'll go image, adjustments, we'll go hue and saturation. And again, we can change the color of those. So we have blue and red now. We might want to saturate it a bit more, make it a bit, I don't want to do that too much. There we go, so we've got blue and red. You can adjust the lightness, the darkness. There we go, so now we've got blue and red. Um, this one says new follower. If we click the T, we can change this to whatever we want. So we might have, you might have um, new, donation. Perfect. And then again, we'll be able to go file, 
export as PNG. Has all your settings here. Leave everything at 100% and we click save. And there you have it. There's your new alert. And again, you can do this with all of these files. So we can hit open. We can go to the webcam. So as you can see, we've got a webcam border here. Again, you'll see how to load your webcam into this, into OBS Studio in my other video in the description. But to change this now, so we've got a border here. We've got a cool, neat looking border. To change these colors, again, we go to image, adjustments, hue saturation, and we can adjust these. So we had the blue and red. There we have it. Click OK, and then we can save that again. Very easy to use, very simple to edit these files. So you can edit these however you like. Click save and there we have it, we've got our new border. So everyone, that's how easy it is to edit this overlay pack. You can change the colors, you can change the text, you can customize it how you like. Please use these, let me know in the comments section how you've used these, if, it, if you found it quite easy to use. If you have any questions, please ask. Again, I do stream on Twitch, so head over to my Twitch at ShadowDTV. You can ask me any questions there. Come hang out with us. We have a ton of fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. And if you do want to learn how to use OBS Studio and how to load these files into OBS Studio and to start streaming today, go and check my OBS Master Course playlist. I'm ShadowDTV. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time.